I 3D printed a wallet. No, not one of those, but instead a real contender against a proper leather wallet. Hello everybody, welcome back to your weekday weekend. I love a standard leather wallet. They look good, they provide organization, I can keep everything I need with me, including cash. But my butt hates them. They're thick, bulky, and after a few months they start looking ratty and they start falling apart. The modern alternative, of course, is what people have started calling a slim wallet which is usually an arrangement of plastic and or metal designed to keep your various cards all neat and tidy in a row, whilst usually having a pathetic cash clip on the rear. Some don't even have that. My problem with those is that I can sometimes be a bit like George Costanza when it comes to my wallet. I don't like having to remember to bring certain membership cards with me before I leave the house. I don't like having to find it in my car before I go inside the store. I don't like to trust my pockets to keep that very important note or receipt safe. For those things, a leather wallet is king. Most 3D printed wallet designs try to mimic the pop-up style of slim wallet. The kind that pops up all your cards when you press a button. But I wanted something more like this wallet. The Alet wallet. I saw frequent reviews do his review of it a few years ago, and I was sold ever since. The only problem was the price. 50 bucks? Okay, well it's on sale for Prime right now, but that sale literally ends later today, so 50 bucks. For 50 bucks, I think I can do better. There is one type of filament that I own, but rarely use. In fact, most times until now, Whenever I tried to use it, it's been a complete failure. TPU If you aren't aware, TPU filament is flexible, and it can be really hard to print sometimes because of that fact. Luckily, the generic TPU settings in Orca Slicer for the Bamboo Lab P1P are amazing. I got to work in CAD designing a wallet, which seems like something very weird to design in traditional CAD software. My first prototype was all wrong. I designed it just like I'd design any other 3D print. I designed it like a regular storage solution with compartments and slots and everything precisely measured. The only problem is that TPU really wouldn't be able to do the bridges necessary for that kind of a design. I proceeded anyway, and on top of the TPU not being up for the task, I also noted a new problem. The walls of what I had designed, which was basically a flat rectangular prism with cubbies in it, would not fold up properly either. I had the completely wrong mindset. What if I used TPU as if it was fabric? All I needed to do in CAD was to do one simple extrusion of the right size rectangle. From there I could use a soldering iron to melt the edges of the plastic together to form the seam. My second prototype was so good that I might even consider making another wallet from it. And here it is. The one and only issue with it is that it isn't tall enough to store cards in the same configuration as the Alet wallet that I wanted to replicate, and it's this design feature that keeps their wallet so thin. To make the seam, I used my soldering iron very carefully. I dotted the tip along the edge, holding it in each spot for a little over one second before moving it again. There are tons of other ways you could have done this with the soldering iron, but this is how I did it. I went back to a Libre, added a few extra millimeters, and sent it to the printer again. While that was printing, I started designing the pieces of material that would be my card pockets. In order to make sure the soldering iron wouldn't melt straight through the build pocket and ruin the whole project, I put a piece of construction paper in the middle to protect the underside. This is the final result. I think it looks great. Sure, the edges can be cleaned up a bit, but I don't even think that looks all that bad. It holds more than my previous wallet, which was this particular slim wallet from Amazon. The only issue with it so far is the rear sheet definitely could be just a few millimeters longer than the top sheet. Currently the bottom sheet of TPU is being stretched uh, when there are bills in the bill pocket. I actually don't have cash in here right now, it's just the same construction paper from earlier. Uh, whether this will loosen up over time, I'm not sure. But in the future I'll add just one or two millimeters to the length of that bottom sheet. So what do I think? Well, so far, I like it. 
Um, I'm going to keep using it like any wallet for now, and I guess I'll update you guys in the future. Um, but this is just a reminder that sometimes you can do things that you didn't think you could um, with a skill that you already have. Because I saved 50 bucks today, and I'm happy with it. So, anyway, thank you guys so much for spending your day with me. Remember, on my channel every day is a weekend. Don't forget to hit follow, join the Discord. Check out weekdayweekend.net for more weekend vibes. Until next time, have a fantastic week, and I'll see you next time, next weekend. Bye!